watching Texas Gun Blog. Today we're taking a look at a Webley Mark IV 38. This particular version or this particular example has been cut down in barrel length, uh, which is commonly referred to as being a tanker revolver. It was, this would be an easy revolver for a service member to carry in closed quarters like in a tank. Um, so a little bit about the revolver. At the end of the First World War, the British military decided to replace the 455 caliber uh, revolver and cartridge. They said it was too large for modern military use and after numerous tests and extensive trials that uh, decided that a pistol in 38 caliber firing a 200 grain bullet would do just the same thing. So Webley and Scott immediately tendered a 38 caliber Webley Mark IV revolver. Uh, this was nearly identical in appearance to the 455 Webley Mark VI although it was scaled down for the smaller cartridge. Um, and it was based on their 38 caliber Webley Mark III pistol, which was de uh, designed for both police and civilian markets. Much to their surprise in making this a very interesting story, the British government took the design to the Royal Small Arms Factory at Enfield Lock, which came up with a revolver that was externally very, very similar looking to the 38 caliber Webley Mark IV, but was internally different enough so the parts were not exchangeable. The Enfield design pistol was quickly accepted under the designation Revolver No. 2 Mark I and was adopted in 1932. Uh, Webley and Scott sued the British government over the incident, claiming that just over 2,000 pounds was owed to them as cost involved in the research and design of the revolver. This was contested but, uh, by the RSAF Enfield, but their claims were, were denied, and they ended up paying out just over 1,000 uh, pounds to Webley. So, Ironically enough, RSAF Enfield proved unable to manufacture enough number two revolvers to meet the military's wartime demands, and as a result, the Mark IV was also widely used within the British Army during World War II. So, very interesting story behind this revolver, and uh, one of the many reasons why the Webley and Scott series of revolvers are highly collectible. And uh, there's a ton of guys out there that are literally... Uh, hawks and vultures in these uh, online gun auctions and online websites where used guns are commonly found that are specifically looking for revolvers like this. Uh, they only go up in value. They do not go down in value. Um, great revolvers for any collection and I highly recommend if you haven't yet do a little research behind the Webleys and uh, go out and buy you one. Um, if you're looking for a Webley or you've got one for sale you can find us at our website texasgunblog.com. As always, we do appreciate you watching our video. We make these high quality videos just for you, so keep on watching, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe to us here on YouTube. Thank you.